JTEAM Radio, broadcasting live from the studio. We will begin with Andy and a political recap of this past decade. Good morning, America. Today is the 31st of December, 1929, and we are going to have a swell time recapping the marvelous decade of the 20s. Today we are going to be talking about various ordeals, from politics to social life, that has changed our lives. I will begin this fine broadcast by discussing some politics. Following the end of World War I and the freedom from the wartime economy and lifestyle, U.S. politicians focused on the social lives and cultural issues of the day. People wanted an end to labor problems and racial strife, less immigration, conservative politics, a return to Christian values, and less government interference in their lives. The U.S. presidential election of 1924 was won by President Calvin Coolidge in a landslide as he presided over a booming economy at home and no visible crisis abroad. Coolidge, a Republican, won the election in a landslide, with Davis, Democrat, only winning him 11 former Confederate states and Oklahoma and losing the popular vote by 25 percentage points. The Republicans did so well that they won in New York City, a feat that has not been repeated since. Now that ain't just some banana oil, that's the truth. And now over to Mito with some economy. The 1920s saw new discoveries and inventions in nearly every field of individual that became the foundation of thriving businesses. Patent attorneys did a roaring trade and nearly every man fancied himself as an inventor if the number of patent submissions was anything to go by. New business and production methods allowed manufacturers to make large profits which they plowed back into new factories and wage rises. Department store and service station chains used massive buying power and operating efficiencies to lower prices while increasing service and choice rising wages. Henry Ford used his huge buying power to sell up discount grocery stores for his employees, much to the annoyance of local store owners. Increased incomes, along with the introduction of credit with no credit card processing, funded a huge increase in consumer spending. Only some of the increased affluence found, in, found its way into insurance as provision for retirement. Now here is Tiani with social life. Good morning, America. This is Tiani reporting to you live about today's social life and giving you a recap of the 1920s era. After many men left to war, us women had to occupy ourselves with something fun. That is when we made the infamous dance known to many today as the Charleston dance. It is done by bending and straightening one leg. This was also a very famous era in which flappers became known and envied. These flappers were young females who were considered to be wild and untamed. They took part in horrible behaviors such as drinking and smoking. Many say it was to cope with the pain of having been left alone, but I say it was to let loose and have fun. The 1920s was a huge breakthrough for women all over the nation. They developed and realized there was much fun to be had. And now we're going to take a quick break, but we'll be back and Eric will update you on sports news. What do you get? when two of America's favorite foods come together to make one great snack. An octopus! <laughs> no, no, that's not it. Oh, I know. A peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's right. Just Peter Pan peanut butter, Smucker's grape jelly, and Wonder Bread. And these are all of the highest quality. And you pick these up at any grocery store, specialty store, apothecary, or speakeasy. This is JTEAM Radio, back from the break. Now here is Eric with your sports report. Hey, it's Eric with your sports update. In NFL news, the Chicago Cardinals have won the National Football League, but there is controversy in the league surrounding who actually won. Many people are arguing that the Maroons were the legitimate winners, but the NFL president, Joe Carr, says the Cardinals are the official winners. Now moving to baseball. In 19... In the 1925 World Series, Pittsburgh Pirates beat the defending champion Washington Senators in seven games. Playing conditions uh, did not help. The 1925 series was postponed twice due to poor weather, and Game 7 was played in a steady downpour. Moving to boxing, Lewis Kaplan and Babe Herman fight for the second time of the year, with Kaplan holding on to the title after a 15-round decision. Back to you in the studio. Hey, it's Jimmy here, recapping the past criminal reports of this decade. We will begin by naming the infamous Al Capone. 
an American gangster who led a crime syndicate. He's the boss of the Chicago Outfit, a group mainly known to smuggle and bootleg liquor, as well as other illegal activities such as prostitution. Bootlegging, the illegal business of smuggling alcoholic beverages, became popular this past decade after Prohibition, a ban on national sales of alcohol, beginning 1920. Capone made an estimated $100 million per year of revenue from liquor sales, gambling, and prostitution. He's suspected to be the main person behind the St. Valentine's Day Massacre this year in 1929, where seven men from a rival gang were murdered by Thompson guns. There was also a rise of speakeasies. Gangsters commonly operated with connections to organized crime and liquor, liquor smuggling. U.S. federal governments were able to arrest some, but rarely managed to catch the big bosses. Even though this past decade of the 1920s was amusing and thrilling, criminal organizations still existed. Anyways, that's it with the criminal report. This is JTAM Radio, signing off. Take care and have a wonderful New Year's. Thanks for listening and don't forget to tune in every day for important news updates.